everything litty, I love when it's hot. Turn to the city, I broke all the notch. Got some more millies. I what is going on you beautiful bastards your boy said reacts we're back with another reaction today we got drunk santa's read your spooky stories this is from watcher this came out like three minutes ago i opened youtube and it was right there in front of me and i know some of you guys love the ghoul boys i love the ghoul boys uh i was introduced to them by you guys uh a few months ago and i couldn't really react to their stuff when it was on buzzfeed because it would get taken down uh but rambu was able to so i guess it depends on how big of a creator you are let's not dive into that just yet I, I i have a lot of respect for these guys i think they're the only real ghost investigators that exist on youtube that's my opinion uh that and due to the fact that they've never found any evidence so that makes them real in my opinion because ghosts don't exist um i'm on Shane's side okay uh <laughs> so this is their um their series I think yeah it is so this is uh too many spirits and it's really really good we're on episode one right now of their new season so you know if you guys are in for uh are in to watch uh, something like this with me then uh i'm in too you guys ready i'm ready let's get it let's go oh yeah this is gonna be good i need i need to get a, a g fuel going <laughs> greetings let's drink too many spirits while we talk, talk about, about too many spirits it's too many spirits <laughs> Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. You know it's gonna be good. Oh, this is the show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky story. We're filming four episodes, all of them being shot tonight. So right now we might seem normal, but uh, later <laughs> we're gonna be. I don't know why <laughs> Santa Shane is scaring me. This episode's theme is too many Santas. Too many Santas. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a G fuel. <laughs> Santa and his friend Santa. Oh, I love those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what they've got for us this week. There's Whoa. just four Santas. Oh, oh, oh! I hope you sold your Peloton because you made it to Santa's bar. What? I'm a little lost in that one too. You know, like a cardio bar. Yeah, I, I got Peloton's bar. Huh? Soiled our Peloton? But he sold, sold our Peloton. Sold your hope, you sold your Peloton. Even after I explained, I corrected it, still does. Hello, you it's still not good. New Age Santas have all these It's still not a good, uh, and a good joke. Well, well, what do you mean, us New Age Santa? You, who are you? I am Classic Santa. The Santa the... of all Santas. The Inspiration Santa. <laughs> what? Fair. Alpha, not alpha Santa. Santa. Fair. Oh, alpha, Santa. Alpha, alpha Santa. Alpha Santa and you're Beta Santa. Oh, and I'm Bad Santa. No, 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 no I'm no. Sigma Santa. No, oh, you can't oh, be Santa oh. man. This is coked out Santa. So that's Coke Santa and that's Saint Nicholas. I'm Saint Nicholas. Oh, yeah. I see. You're oh, Saint Nicholas. You know yeah. the hell you? You're Saint, Saint Santa. Nicholas Santa. Oh my, what are we ben. drinking? Yeah. Today we're drinking. <laughs> Hold up! What <laughs> We're having the get in the Christmas spirit Santa drink! Tell me what to do, uh, St. Nicholas. So this classic Aperol spritz, we are making a Christmas by adding a little allspice dram. Yeah! I hope you're yeah. all in the mood for what a little a clove and nutmeg. I've always wondered about That goes well with rum. Just all the spices? Yeah! You know, you know what their names are? Name them. Uh, Cinnamon. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, Nutmeg. No, the pop up girl. Cloves. I don't know. Fool? You know, that's I a, should know this. Dumb Santa. But I'm I believe What's Santa. happening? Dude, yeah, you're dumb Santa now. And buttercup. Blossom, buttholes, and buttercup? Buttholes. What's a gift for you, <laughs> dear St. Nicholas? Oh, it's a dog. Nice. It's very uh, nice. Hello, buddy. This is so unexpected. Coke Santa. What did I do to deserve this? Coke Santa? All work and no play, so Ryan's been a little grumpy this holiday season. What better way to cheer him up than a visit from it's an the ad. ghost? Ooh. Who is that? It's me, the ghost of Saint Mista. Yeah, it's an ad about uh, Cologne. They sponsor Saint Bird. Yeah. Saint Bird is reimagining everything about how people discover, shop for, and express oneself through fragrances. 
Okay, you guys know the deal. I don't skip ads, all right? If you want to skip through, you can skip through. I'm going to pause at the end of it so, you, you know, you don't go too far, but I... There are no surprises, my sweet boy. Uh, hi. And hello to you. I'm the ghost of the present. And I'm the ghost of Christmas future. JJ? I don't know him. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Scentbird has perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. They also carry brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, as well as indie labels like Skyler, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. We brought you a couple of gifts to bring you cheer, Ryan. Here with a gift from the past, Heralds by Versace. It's a scent stemmed in love and made for a strong, passionate man. This luminous scent is a mix of fresh mint and citrus, conca beans and vanilla, cedar wood, and oak moss. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Well, how about this? I've got a gift from the present for your sweet wife. Malayan Tiger by Sanctuary. It's a scent that combines fresh mandarin and lush greens, rose petals, creamy sandalwood, and patchouli. What for is happening, man? Aroma. Mari's gonna love that. Good. And finally, Good. I brought you a gift from the future. I brought you Ember by Joseph Aboud. This captivating men's cologne is warm and smoky with notes of burning incense, embers, cardamom apple, and a rich base of amber and leather. This alluring scent can take you on a fiery journey to success or below. The choice is yours. Wow, thank you all so much. I, I feel so much better now. Thanks for pulling me out of that slump. Mm, yes. Thank you. And, and you too can finally enjoy the holidays with a gift for yourself or a friend. Use <coughs> Ghost Files 55 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. All right, you know what? If they have an ad, I'm going to have an ad, too. Uh, I might put a graphic on the screen. Uh, I'm a graphic designer. I do clothing. I'm very good at it. If you guys do need clothing done for, let's say, your personal brand that you're starting up and you want to sell clothes or a brand that you already own or you're part of a brand that wants to explore clothing, uh, come through my Fiverr and, uh, you know, short short delivery time. I, I do revisions. Uh, we'll, I'll get you something you like. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd appreciate it. Now back to sleep. Okay. Sweet dreams. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a gift! Oh, that's great. Holy sh! You holy sh no! You shouldn't have. Oh wait, is there a dog in the background? No, that's just Rudolph. That's Ooh. Rudolph. That's Rudolph. Ain't you ever heard a reindeer hey. bark, dipshit? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know this guy's not even a real <laughs> Santa, dude. Not even you know why a real you call Santa. Why Rudolph? Why cook Santa? Because he's rude. Well, what, why don't you show us how you make that drink? So, Beta Santa. No, I'm not Beta Santa! Would a Beta Santa do this to you? Oh, God. What? <laughs> Jesus. Bad Santa! I'm Bad Santa. All right, Beta Santa. So the first thing we're Coke gonna do- Coke Santa! Coke Santa, Coke Go Santa, Santa, is we're going to fill our lovely glass with ice. Okay. This is how my elves do it. There's no way you can fuck this one up. You don't need no Peloton for this! Let's see how he fucks this one up. Yeah, he's gonna fuck it up. When does right. he not fuck it up? All I want for Christmas is presents! <laughs> Jesus Wait, Christ. If you're a Santa, though, <laughs> you should want to give presents. Yeah. Hey, aren't you giving presents? Isn't that your whole thing? Uh, you see, when you give so many presents in life, you just want one. True. You want to give Santa a present. Oh, oh. very sad. That's true. Really sad to watch Santa pleading that he's been a good boy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to add one ounce of this allspice dram. Jesus. All right, so one ounce, it's like, you know, in like Peloton, it's like one. Someone stop stealing. We get it, you bought a Peloton. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This isn't even sponsored by Peloton. Is this sponsored by Peloton? Yeah, yeah. Five, it, six, seven, eight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, God. Okay. 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 <laughs> I love it when a bartender's making a drink and they go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Coke Santa. We're going to add the same amount of Aperol. Aperol. Oh. Okay, here we go. On the beat. There is no music. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Ooch, ooch, oh. ooch, ooch. Jingle. Coke That's Santa, it? you're doing a great job. Thank you. Can I that say, was not the same amount. We're now going to be adding just a splash of club soda. Just mm. a little. A splash? Oh, god oh. oh, oh, no. Oh, right. oh. oh. Wow. Oh, that wow. was wow. anticlimactic. I got ripped off. <laughs> All right. Wait a second. Here he goes. Okay. Here he goes. All right. Okay. That's well, a splash. Well, that still was pretty sad. That's a splash nice. right there. That is a splash. Hey. Santa is. There that is go. also a splash. Okay. Santa is That's pretty good. Hey, hey, hey. 
Okay, we missed that. <laughs> He's Admit. so dumb. Oh, okay. Now, Saint Nicholas, aren't you a saint? Are you allowed to drink alcohol? After many decades or eons that I've been around. Those are two very different things. Yeah. What is an eon? 40 years? What is an eon? I think an eon is like longer than a century. I thought eon was 40 years. I thought, I thought eon was longer than a century. Can we look that up? I we thought it was longer check. than a century as well. You need to turn water into wine, right? He's a party animal. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was pretty big. For St. Nicholas, you're sort of an eldritch being. But he said also, or decades, so. Or decades, whichever is longer. And yes, I have turned <laughs> okay. water into Prosecco. So you have all water of Jesus' powers. I yeah. have all, I inspired the Last Supper. Is that, I is that why you said off camera that Jesus is a pussy? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are these guys gonna pop? I mean, I not when you take know. that off. Put a napkin over it and pop the cork Okay, off. now be very careful where you pop that cork off, because it will go flying. Pop it open? You can just hold can it. That. that works, too. Yeah. There you go. Very nicely done. Oh! <laughs> what the okay, hell yeah. was that, that noise over there? Oh. <laughs> that was all our little elves in the workshop over yeah. there that made that noise. They sometimes get very excited. They go, ah! Oh. If, if you hold the cork, it's then not going to go anywhere. off this lovely drink. <laughs> wow. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, I don't think like, you're doing it right. Tablecloth. No, 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 no. Wait, what? What? Chomping? Wait, wait do that again? What the like fuck? A nutcracker? Yeah! Oh! oh that's oh! really good. He used Coke Santa after all. You know, when I invented that toy, I intended it for other purposes. For what cracking nuts. It for? Cracker yeah. nuts. Yeah. Nobody yeah. uses them. Nobody uses Except them. Mrs. Claus. Oh, she yes. Uses them, right. She uses them a lot. <laughs> so we're going to want to add a little more Prosecco to this. More Prosecco? Beautiful cocktail. Oh, you get crazy in the Leon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that looks normally good, I we think. We add fresh cranberries. Oh. Oh, the oh, fun. Cranberries. Oh my god. And so Coke Santa. Dude, Stephen Lim is living right now. With a little dry cranberry. Can you, uh, can you, uh, Benihana me? Oh, he means tossing your mouth. Benihana. Oh! That did not go in. Oh, you missed yeah, you most missed. of You missed like yeah, all yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got oh. one in there. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, hold, open your, show us your tongue. Hold it. He did hold get it. two. That's wider, wider, wider. He That's did get good. two. That's Very pretty good. impressive. We're going to sprinkle a little cranberry. Cranberry. And a little <laughs> rosemary sprig. Don't put the nice. whole twig in there, nice really, done. okay. And that there doesn't, you, you know, that doesn't look horrible. Oh, oh, oh. Get in the Christmas fritz. Looks decent. Doesn't I look horrible, Coke doesn't Santa look good. I think did a pretty good job, surprisingly. He reminds me so much of a guy named Stephen Lim who yeah. doesn't do a good job with right. drinks, so I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. Wait a second, is this the same Stephen Lim on my list right here? That soggy What's list? Say about that it? soggy <laughs> list, <laughs> yeah. Look at that, that dripping. It's Stephen dripping. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my gosh! Oh, oh man. he's number one in the class this year. Oh, yeah, wow. he made on the nice list. A fucking treasure map now. Wow! <laughs> oh. Can we please have a demonstration, uh, Saint Nick, for Absolutely. how to make the drink yes. properly? Show me That'd be great. Oh, Coke oh, Santa. Oh. So we're going to fill our glass with ice. This beautiful ice. Yep. We're going to add <laughs> one ounce of allspice dram. One ounce of Aperol. Aperol. We're going to top off. With a little soda. It already looks better. Just the color. I don't know. Finally, with a little Prosecco. Some cranberries. Nice fresh sprig. How that looks pretty good. That Christmas. one looks that a lot looks better. A lot better. Than, you'll notice there's a lot more liquid. Yeah. I think it's St. Nicholas as well. Maybe a little more generous with the champagne, which I appreciate. Perhaps. A, man, a lot more cold. generous with and the ice as well. more balanced than the other one, yeah. which is kind of interesting. You did a good job too, Coke Santa. But this Alpha Santa did a great job. The Superior Santa. <laughs> Stephen Santa! is so done. Santa, what are we Santa! drinking? Yes, Santa, yes. Oh, 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 Santa oh, to the Santaverse. Is it safe to assume that that's the one that this Santa made? No. <laughs> this is old St. Nicholas. They're the same Prince. drink. Oh. They definitely are not. Slave oh, oh, oh. Bell, Naughty List, uh, Candy Canes. OK, here we go. Slave Bell, Naughty List, Candy Canes, shoot. Slango is not in this candy can shoot! Slango is not in this candy can shoot! Santo, oh! uh, Santa! Which one did you make? I'll take the one this that one is didn't have Steven's so. rule. St. Nicholas, oh, Santo, Santa! Good choice, Santa! This is Santa's oh, drink. Oh. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Enjoy! You. Great. Santa! It's probably so bad. 
Oh, that tastes just like from the kitchen of Mrs. Claus. <laughs> That's nice. I think this is quite good, actually. This is probably one of the better drinks I've had on this show. Oh! oh. oh. It tastes like pain. Hey, uh, uh, how many hoes am I? <laughs> what is how many, how many hoes, hoes, how many hoes am I? <laughs> okay, new, okay, for the rest of so the it's hose. season, we'll be rating the stories as we always do, but the drinks, we'll rate them on three hoes. Yeah. Okay. Three hoes. Right. Three hoes. <laughs> what you're saying is the less hoes you have, the more sad you are. Yeah. That's right. Okay, then I I'm... would give this one three hoes. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one also three hoes. Oh! 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 You just did the Carmelo Anthony three-point celebration. Well, it's time to get into stories. Well, also, let me just establish this up top. I'm Bad Santa. That's who I am. I'm Actually, Shane. You know, here, I'm going to zip this little I'm more. Shane. Like that. And that's Rudolph barking. He'll be here all season. That's right. Rudolph <laughs> barking. Oh. No, it's just a naughty little dog. Unless I throw some poison hot dogs over the fence. We'll that see. would be a real shame, but it would be very quiet. We are going to be reading these stories, do and we are going to be ranking them as naughty or nice. And that could be whatever we want it to mean. If you think the story... You know how disastrous it, it must have been to, like, set up the whole, like... Set up the whole set outside? I think they do this outside of, uh... Ryan's parents' house, if they're still at the same location, which I think it is because of a fire pit. But I think they do this outside Ryan's uh, parents' house. And the neighbors have that annoying dog that weren't there before, and now it's there, and he keeps barking all the time. You're like, okay, well, do we need a new location? Or, like, what do you do? Because you're not going to go tell the neighbor, like, go take your dog inside, right? It's naughty. You put it in the naughty box, which is also a room that Mrs. Claus and I have at our home. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> and if you yeah. think they're nice, you put them in the, uh, the mailbox over there. Oh, yes, because mail is nice. It's for all the good boys. We got a, what appears to be a, a real fast sleigh driving by on the outside. That's right. Okay. Excuse me. Let's get All right. Further ado, let's get into the stories. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Our first story comes from Twitter. This is from Tit. From the, from the cesspool. One day, the DVD player in my bedroom started going haywire. It would randomly turn itself on, and we'd hear it start to try and play the DVD while the TV was off. Wait, what? This dog, this this dog, dog really is, loves this story. We, we yeah. might have to throw some snacks over that fence. That's what I was Somebody thinking. A blow dart? I was thinking, like, bring a bunch of, like, bones, like, you know, dog treats, and just chuck, chuck them over the fence. Just get the dog busy. After it happened a few days in a row, I used a ghost radar on my phone nearby. A ghost radar said, on your phone. What? Her. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I decided I see. to just unplug it. A ghost radar so on your phone. Up. Okay, I'm and gonna... It did. But then one day, my friend, who had slept over and brought a movie to watch before the DVD player started being weird, asked for her DVD back. What movie was it, you ask? What, what, what movie was it? Her. 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 Phoenix? <laughs> That's right. For those eagle-eared viewers at home who were listening, after it happened a few days in a row, I used Ghost Raider on my phone nearby. Oh! And it said her. And it said her. So this ghost is a fan of cinema. Yeah. It's a fan of cinema. This story is a four. Yeah, it doesn't go higher than that. <laughs> I think this story is a six. It's got like a nice a bit of happenstance. I downloaded a ghost, uh, a ghost sensor I on like my phone. Cinema, yeah, nice. But here's the real question: Is this story uh, naughty no. or nice? It's a bit naughty, I think. It's about a movie, her, in which yeah. they have he has sex with a phone. Well, he doesn't have sex with the phone. He wants to have sex with the phone. I think he does a little something to himself while he listens to it, right? I think he might, but he doesn't have the and right just, lightning cable to plug It's just Scarlett Johansson in. being like, I'm, I'm, I'm so sexy and I love you, and he's like, oh. I think I'm gonna rate this one naughty. It, it, no, no, nice. It's too nice. Well, it's where nice. does it go now? I rated it naughty. Do we have to? We have to. Okay. We have this to fight. A we have to agree on this. I think you should rate it nice. But I think it's also a little nice. It's nice. It's nice. I think it's a nice it's one. Nice. I think it's oh, nice. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. Oh, 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 yeah. That's our first nice story of the season. Wow, Bear. that's really fun. Who could have predicted that? Next story! story! All right. What, what voice should I do when I do this one? 
Um, Dobby. Pragmatism and magic from Tumblr. <clears throat> when I was little, I would stay up all night terrified because I could hear footsteps coming up the stairs to my room. Mr. Potter, the footsteps marched and marched and got louder and louder all night. Uh. My parents thought I was imagining it. This sounds like you at the Dauphin Orleans Hotel. This where sounds you, like me as a going, child. Oh, there's a ghost above us in this hotel. I remember that. He heard footsteps during the night above him. Yeah, I remember that. So it took a couple of years to figure out that the marching was the sound of my own heartbeat. <laughs> what a dumb kid. Wow. Shane Santa. Do you think all the children in the world are stupid? Yes. <laughs> That's really rude. Ask me. Ryan Santa, do you think all the children in the world are stupid? What do you think, dipshit? <laughs> oh. oh my god, this is bad Santa indeed. When I was scared, it got faster and louder. So the problem fed into itself like a snake eating its tail. An that, Ouroboros. Does that happen? An yeah, Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Yeah. Is there a name for a snake yeah, eating it's, its own tail? Ouroboros. I was haunting my own house. Oh yeah, it's Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a metaphor. That's the end of the story. Okay. What do you think about that one, one out of 10? So he realized. Hey. Oh, that's a good one. I liked the twist of it's, it being a. A heartbeat. I think this yeah. is a very funny story of a child being distracted by its, their own heartbeat. I'm surprised that child lived and didn't have a heart attack at age five. That'd be unfortunate. Yeah, if your heart is that loud. The louder the, you know. Oh, don't I know it. It's a, it's a never ending. It's a right. I know it quite right. well. I'm going to rate this one a seven. But the real question. Naughty or nice. Naughty or nice. Well, I know they're going to rank the dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's. Sometimes, sometimes I think this one's nice. This goes into the it, nice. The Santa yeah, have agree. decided. This one is nice. We have decreed it. Oh, nice. It is nice. <laughs> well, if this keeps up, it's going to be a nice season. I tell you that. Shoo! Dude, I can't wait to see them smashed. Like they're going to be hammered, looking like this. By the way, I have downloaded. Uh, yeah, you can't see it because it's a green screen. But I have downloaded uh, the, 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 the Ghost Radar, and uh, apparently, uh, apparently there's a ghost standing in the corner of my room. I don't know how to do. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, but according to my radar, we're we're in deep shit. What uh, what happened, Brittany? Uh, the neighbors aren't home. Oh. Right now we're waiting. So they for, did go uh, knock. That's crazy. Near the house that we're shooting to uh, stop barking. We tried throwing a couple bones back Ryan there. Ryan some beef. Some beef. All right, so we got a dog next door to where we're filming this episode. Yeah. That won't quiet down. The owners are gone, and we're throwing bones across <laughs> the fence to see if it'll quiet down. You're gonna kill that thing. That was a weak throw. <laughs> I heard that hit. I'm not gonna lie, pretty nice aim. Some dog bones. So what's really funny <laughs> is that like the neighbors are gonna get home. It's not their fault, man. The, the dog is distracted. There's seven billion lights. It doesn't know what's going on. The neighbors are gonna get home. There's gonna be like <laughs> there's gonna be like fourteen dog treats in the backyard and a big like shoot happening in the neighbor's house. And they're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> they're specifically made. We went to the market to get dog bones, and for a second there, it sounded like the little guy had found it, but. It worked. Right, number three. <laughs> this is from YouTube. Yana in Wonderland. I grew Jane? up in Belgium. It's Yana. Yana, yeah, yeah. In an old house with a barn attached. It was a pretty normal experience until my parents renovated the house. Afterwards, I had frequent nightmares. <clears throat> and you the lost feeling the bone. someone was going up the stairs behind me. But worst of all, when I went to the bathroom at night, there was a man at the end of the hallway. 
He didn't do anything, but he stood there completely still in a <laughs> uniform, bluish pale complexion. Like a blue man group guy? Like a blue man? I think they're talking blue about man a group. A blue I'd man group guy. I'd be stoked if I went in my house and I was trying to take a and piss. There and there was a blue, was a blue guy group. in the bathroom already there drumming? Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Sounds like my dream. Bluish pale complexion with completely white eyes. Now that's the kicker. This okay. This is the thing you'll notice on human beings when you look at them. They've got a little circle in the middle of their eyes. Right, he didn't have color, that. And then in oh, the middle shit. of that is an even darker, you know, you got the yeah. purple. I don't know if I've ever noticed the color of your eyes. You have like a dark brown eye. They're brown. What is my eye? Brown, like fudge. Brown? Yeah. He terrified me and I told my mom who brushed it off. Uh, until a few years later when an elderly neighbor, ain't that just like neighbors to be elderly, yeah. came over for tea and casually told us a German fighter pilot had crashed in a field not far away from our house. What's with elderly neighbors okay. always trying to have tea with you? Get the fuck it's out of here. It's always in every fucking movie. Stay in your house. <laughs> I don't want to talk don't to you. come over. <laughs> Rumors were he had been murdered and buried underneath the barn. I saw the blood drain from my mom's face. Freaky because that was exactly where the man had stood every single time. Damn. That's a pretty scary story, actually. Yeah. I like that one. It's time to rate the story. Ryan, why don't you rate it first? I, How think, many I feel like I've been bogarting the, the first place rating. Shh. It's gonna be an eight. It's a two. Yeah. A two? Yeah. I'm gonna say, do we need to confirm this, or should we try and so let's see? Let's okay, see. That's at the same time. Uh, and that is naughty. naughty. No. Nice. No. Dude. Naughty. Fuck, you're right. N naughty. naughty. Nice, no. dude. No. No. Oh, no I no. did it again. <laughs> Shit. All right. Naughty. Naughty. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you guys think? Naughty or nice? You know, I initially thought it was nice, but you convinced me that that German was naughty. You're right. <laughs> so naughty it is. Naughty it is. This is so can. hard okay. to watch, guys. Now, we don't have long bros out here, but we do have snack bros. Can we please get some snacks? Because your boy is hungry. Should we have a snack time song? Yum, 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 yum. Time for snacking time. Yum, 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 yum. Time for snacking time. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Time for snacking time. Ho, ho. Yum, 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 yum. Time for snacking time. Ho, ho. Do you want to guess what we got? It's snack hose. It's snack hose. Snack hose. Snack hose. We got lovely bagel bites with pesto drops. Drops? Pesto drops. Are we sponsored by bagel bites? To pair with no, but I the wish I was. Bagel <laughs> bites are amazing. Enjoy. Cheers, bro. The Michelob Ultra. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> bagel bites. Bagel bites are always half frozen in the middle or scorching hot. There's no in between. Got some beard in there. Oh my god, it tastes like a sleepover. That's really yeah. Good. Except now I'm gonna chase it with beer. It sort of tastes like a lunchable. I kind of yeah. like that though. I don't. Your tongue is fucking dead, dude. Facts. That's the deadest tongue I've ever seen. The tongue yeah. is absolutely You can't deceased. not like bagel Ooh, bites. That's impossible. Oh, damn Jane. Tongue. That's, That's a, a Jane shark Doe. tongue. That's a Jane Doe of a tongue. <laughs> oh, right. Santa's got a good one in here. This is going to be a good one. This comes from X. At pay no attention. In high school. Pay no attention? <laughs> Excuse me. The beer coming up. I went to Baltimore for a competition. Okay. Where we stayed at a haunted hotel. Right. I was doing that in the character. I would never say haunted in quotations. I just want to point that out. Does the, did the note say haunted? It did. I went to Baltimore for a competition where we stayed Bear. in a haunted hotel and I shared the room with four other dudes. That does sound haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever stayed in a room with more than three yeah, other dudes? Yeah, in, in high school we went on a, a band trip to Disney World. And I Smelly. Think is one of your friends one of those dudes where they're like, I don't really need deodorant, but they do. One of my friends is like, I knew someone like that. Is your friend's name, does his name rhyme with Reven? <laughs> Reven Tim? Reven Tim. It's genetic, no. y'all. Uh, no, what? I'll say you understand, okay? As a Santa no. who shares my blood, you understand. <laughs> I'll say this for all the, the guff we give Steven. I don't, th I've never smelled Steven. I've never put my, my nose right next to his armpit. I've though. never been next to Steven and thought, what a You know what? Let's guy. settle this right well, now. Well, he's been wearing a polyester Santa suit all night. 
Oh my uh, god, he got a big uh, whip there. Actually, he smells pretty good. Okay, he's got you. Really got a deodorant. You don't have deodorant on. I've never mm. worn. You've never deodorant. worn deodorant. That's incredible. That's crazy. That's incredible. Anyways, what? we pretended to have a weed. That's the first thing I do, like when I wake up, is shower, deodorant, teeth. Like, there's nothing. That's the first thing I do every morning. That's like. I don't know. I've never not had deodorant on. Board. We pretend. That's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. And held an EVP session. Even if I can't shower and I'm like, I don't know, in a camping or if I can, I slept in my car because I'm on a like very long road trip. The first thing I do when I wake up, deodorant. I, I don't know. I mean, Ouija boards in general are pretending, so. Don't act like you think they are. Ouija boards are legit. They're not. They're bullshit. They are. They're bullshit. 100%. And after we heard voices in the recording and cuddled in one bed with all the lights on. That's the end of the story? That is the end of the story. One. I'm going to give it a one, too, but I have done that Together, before. that's an 11. That is an 11. See, look, it looks like that on camera. What do we, naughty or nice? I guess I'll say nice. <laughs> nice. Is that three nices and one naughty? Yeah. What do you guys think, naughty or nice? Nice. I think it's nice. <laughs> the boys nice. All cuddled it's nice up. to cuddle. It's yes. nice, especially when you have the lights on. It makes you feel better. It's There's nice nothing to naughty about it. It's sweet, isn't it? That all those boys were, like put aside whatever bullshit is like, hey, look, we're all scared. Let's cuddle. It's survival instinct. You're survival keeping your, instinct. You're keeping each other warm both physically and mentally. That's right. Well, I don't know if they were keeping each other warm. Right? Yeah, but when you cuddle with someone, there's a body warmth thing. I run personally. Uh, that, well, that's now that's getting gross. I also run imagine cold. Imagine how much those boys are sweating. That's why I'm not the best cuddler, because I don't like when someone's too hot and their skin touches my skin, I and now I'm that sweating. Too. Yeah, that too. yeah. And I'm not saying that my wife has the skin of a volcano, but she does have I'm the skin. I'm not saying yep. that about my wife either, but. Oh, every fucking <laughs> every relationship I've been in, dude, they always want to cuddle, but they're like, they're, it's like their skin temperature is 190 degrees, bro. You can't. I can't. I, I'm not doing that. I'll do it to make you happy for five minutes, but then I'm rolling the fuck around and going to bed. <laughs> a nice one to end it on, I'd say. Even though low rating, a nice story. It's a nice I'm the, story. Look, I wasn't scared by it. No, it was, it was just a nice hey, story. Hey, dude, you got an 11. And it's okay to have nice stories, okay? Put it in the nice box. It's Christmas. Hey, dude, put it in the That's nice box. Hey, put it in the nice box. It's about being, put it in the being nice, box. nice to each other. Before you all leave, don't you fucking click out. Stay here, stay here. No, no, you don't, come don't back here. here. You come, come back here. No, get, get, get in close. Get, no, get, fuck get, him. No. Come back here. Come back here. Get in here. Get in close. Wait, listen to him. Get in close. I'm going to jump in that pool. I'm going to jump in that pool by the end of this season. He's going. Hello, folks. Thanks for joining us. And you know it's crazy how, like, they're getting into the Christmas season. In, uh, they're in Cali. They're getting into the Christmas season in Cali, and he's like, I'm going to jump in that pool. If I were to jump in a pool here, I would break my coccyx because it's ice. There's just ice and snow outside, and it's dark by 4 p.m. Uh, uh, yeah, that's polar you know opposites, we'll see quite week literally. When things get a little bit crazier, won't they? <laughs> well, that, sounded like more like an e that sounded like an evil villain. Let's do more Santa. Oh my god. <laughs> Laugh with us. <laughs> Thanks again to our episodes. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave the original in the description. If you guys want to go check it out on your own, feel free to do so. Uh, if you guys want more of this, you know, um, uh, too many spirits. If you guys want me to react to the entire season, I'll do it. I just thought I'd bring the ghoul boys back for, uh, you know, uh, Honestly, personal reasons. I know some of you guys like them, but I saw it on my uh, I saw it on my um, homepage, and I really wanted to watch it. But I also wanted to, you know, record some content. So I thought, why not both? So if you guys want me to go through the entire season, as soon as they come out, I'll record. Uh, that being said, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.